Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Aston Zerk from YGG Gaming. So today, I was on ladder, laddering like a boss, and then I came across this match. So, without further ado, let's get right on into it. In the top left right hand corner, we have Astrozerg. And in the bottom left hand corner, we have Reckless. Alright, so, I won't tell you what happens in the game, but we will let you see as usual. So, we have a bit of a supply block, only for a few seconds, and now we have the Overlord moving along the track. We have a uh, suspicious probe. Going, going along on its merry way. It dropped down a pylon, and we have a forge. So, we're looking to see most likely a cannon rush, which is the most annoying of rushes, I would say, um, for a Zerg player. So, we're going to see this um, smartly. I was saw the... Uh, we're going to put it in third person. Alright, so I asked a Zerg. Saw the probe moving down, and so he decides... Oh, I didn't see him coming to my base, so I'm going to go scout. Fortunately for him, scouts the pylon going down. For some reason, Reckless lets it finish and puts down another, a photon cannon. Wow, that is very interesting. So then, this probe is following. Um, and, okay, so he's apparently going to put down another pylon and cannon rush again. Um, so we'll see what happens there. That's very interesting. So for some reason, it looks like he's just going to let that cannon finish. Um, he is just now getting his gateway. This drone is going to scout this- Oh my gosh, this drone is going to scout the pylon. And so he's going to cancel now. He drops down another cannon. Um, by now, he really just needs to go. Yes, he's blocked off these two bases, but at what cost is the main question. 150, or sorry, 250 minerals for each thing. That's, uh, wow, math. That's 500 minerals where he's only denying a base that's 300 minerals. Yes, he's slowing it down, but at home, he's got nothing. He's got two assimilators and one gateway. And so now he's going to scout this expansion. Uh, already 500 minerals in the hole. And where is this probe going? Because, eh, oh my goodness. So he's going to plant another pylon down and try to take out this fourth. So just more and more cheese all over the place. This one cheesy guy. So now the Zerglings are out. Um, this over- oh my goodness, no, this, this overlord is moving right in the path of this pylon, wow, um, so, it looks like this overlord is actually going to scout this rush, so that is going to be 600 minerals in the, in the hole, and now we're going to have a cannon go down, that is 750 minerals in the hole, um, Cybercore is just now about to finish up. Now we are 900 minerals in the hole for our Protoss player. And adding more pylons. So this is 1,005 uh, minerals that is being used. Um, now what will happen is this cannon is out of range of this hatchery. But what it will do is it will deny any uh, mining off these spaces. So yes, it's a fairly smart play. But uh, I mean, considering the fact that he's just now getting a Stargate, doesn't have an expansion, and has been spending literally, uh, let's see, let's look here. He has spent more than he makes a minute on all of this. So, in the time he could have actually gotten a second, which he's just now doing, three minutes, 50 seconds in, um, in the time he could have had that second, and, uh, been moving on and along his way, saturating and everything, he's decided, I'm gonna keep this guy off his base. So, technically, it's not a bad idea, but the problem is a lot of Protoss players will do this. They'll overcommit and they'll get too greedy and they'll try to do too much to uh, protect to prevent these bases. So now we have a hidden third going down for Astro Zerg. Um, since he cannot technically use this base, he can mine off three patches. So technically he can get three off that. Uh, he's getting the gas. He's getting roaches, um, and so he's probably going to just work on this one since uh, it is not. Uh, Reckless does not know um, that it, that is there. So the critiques with Reckless, though, he has no macro going on right now. He has so much going in to somewhere. He's got just now got his second gateway and a photon cannon at home. Whereas, and now his second is just about to finish. Whereas Astrozerg is actually ahead. If you look at the income, it's not that much of a difference. It's only about a hundred. 
as well as the fact that he's getting his his uh, second technically, um, if you will. So it's really one base versus one base. Um, and now he's going to be able to clear out these cannons and be able to expand here. So this base is going to be able to saturate. This base is not getting saturated. It is four probes on it. And he's just now getting his first Void Ray. Five minutes, 21 seconds in the game, where he should have had at least three Void Rays by now if he was going to commit to this one base. Um, but no, he's going to go to a two base and not commit. Um, so that's going to really put him behind. He's still only on two gate. Wow, he's put wow. So he's technically going to be on four gate putting half his base up up here for some reason. I don't know why he's planning on, he's making all this, but whatever. I mean, he, it would be way better to just put it in his base. Um, he has no units. He has no army. He's now making a phoenix as his second air unit instead of going void ray. He sees, he should at least have seen, oh, this guy doesn't have what he needs. And so now he's going to go into phoenixes. Um, He's just now getting his second base saturated. Meanwhile, Astrozerg is taking this time to just macro on up and go ahead and get what he needs to be able to do stuff. So, it's just not the best uh, situation for Reckless with the way that he's doing this. He's just now throwing down a Twilight Council and another Pylon. He still is not really doing anything, though. Um, uh, at this point, he should have his third going and um, his second saturated... I mean, you can see here, Astrozerg is actually almost ahead in this situation, um, considering he has units. He's got the Hydrogen down, making Hydras most likely, um, getting his upgrades, and meanwhile, there are no upgrades going for Protoss. Um, so, he's got Phoenixes flying around, but I mean, I don't know what he expects these Phoenixes to do, um, especially with this third that he still does not see. He has no idea that he f he probably believes that this um, Zerg player is on one base because you can see here he's like oh he doesn't have this he doesn't have this the question is is he going to stop this in time oh no this he's just leaving this to die he doesn't even think this void ray is going right around what is he doing what are you doing this base is right here you're oh my goodness that just hurts to watch. So he completely misses this base. If he had seen this base, this would have changed a lot of things. Um, but now he's just warping in a lot of adept, which is not the best idea, considering, um, I mean, adepts versus roaches. Roaches are going to give those adepts a very, very hard time and pretty much destroy them easily. Um, so his logic for this is very uncertain. Uh, I don't know why. He's got 10 adepts. He's making two more gateways, so he'd be on six gateway. Um, and he's still only on two base. So he's actually... And he's going to lose a phoenix. That was a very good pick off from Ashazerg. Um, he's got his second going down, or finishing, uh, in, uh, saturation. And the Protoss player has a thousand minerals. Floating on a thousand minerals. Let's just go to the perspective and see what he's doing. Microwing the phoenixes. That would make sense. So now, just now, getting the third base after losing half of his main so now he's just now getting all this meanwhile Astrozerg has second base pretty much saturated the gases are lacking um, but not surprising considering the uh, harassment and the uh, larva that he needs to get to do all that um, but the Protoss player is just floating so many minerals right now and it's really not good for him these adepts still only has 14 adepts for all this time eight nine minutes and only has, if you look at the units, 14 probes, or 14 probes, 14 adepts, one void ray, and three phoenixes, and one sentry. That is all he has for nine minutes into the game. Now, just now getting his seventh gateway and warping in more adepts. The drone to the probe count is uh, 16 off, which makes sense considering the probe, uh, Protoss has had a lot more time. Um, but now just uh, Astrozerg is saturating his, uh, just now finishing the saturation on his second, technically, um, and really needs to throw down a third, though. Um, that'd be really, that'd make a big change in the game. Um, but as you can see, the supply is, unfortunately, more even than it should be. Protoss should be a good 30 or 40 supply ahead. Um, even with this supply, even though it's ahead, this army value is just not good. It 
mass hide ma or hydra mass um adept versus roaches and i mean yes adepts are good against hydras but against roaches is really gonna just not it's not a good idea i don't know what the logic is what the reasoning is um just too much money spent into the cannons and all that in the beginning of the game um one one is done for the uh zerg player as you can see here zero zero even destroyed the own forge now putting up the other forges but it's too late these adepts are going to get shredded especially with these corrosive vials just landing freely corrosive vial versus uh corrosive vial actually does quite a lot of damage to adepts um but as you can see here so many phoenixes but they're just going to get picked off by these uh he's picking up everything and he has nothing to hit them so that logic th again with the logic just completely irrelevant to what he's doing third base was just now going down for astro zerg but if reckless had had a stalker immortal army here instead of a for some reason phoenix adept army he would have been in so much better of a position and most likely have won instead he just goes and makes i don't even know what he was doing um, so that was just a, not the best, uh, it was a pretty sloppy game by, um, really both players. It could have gone better, I mean, Astrozerg had the, um, advantage in that, the fact he was cheesed in three different spots. Um, but Reckless had no reason to have lost, or to have lost that game. Um, but, uh, regardless, uh, I'm Astrozerg from YGG Gaming. Uh, I hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. If, uh... If you liked this type of video, please let me know in the comments below, and if you didn't like it, dislike it, I'm perfectly fine with that, it's just as good as a like. Um, thanks for watching, see you later.